I would like to invite our culture creator tonight, Amy Felix Reese, to come up. I had the wonderful opportunity this week to spend a few hours with her as she was working with us, as we're dreaming and planning on a vision for Cornerstone to launch in the upcoming months. And I love her brilliance and, and her humility and how she handles the craft of weaving people, opinions together and moving them in the same direction. It was a beautiful thing and I am forever grateful for her and would love to have her come do that more with us. Brian and I may need a session all the time. Uh, for you to just work with us on a weekly basis. Could we have a weekly session, possibly? Okay. Uh, coffee would be great. All right. So without further ado, Amy, if you could tell us how you create culture and the things that the Lord has called you to do. Thanks, Aaron. So hello. Thank you for asking me to, to talk to you tonight. I have a company called Inside Counts, and the name is significant because what I do is I work with leaders teams and organizations to be better leaders, to work better together as leaders, to create the future, um, and to create environments where people want to come to work and where they thrive. And so what I do in that vein is I help people get really clear and aware of what's on the inside, what's driving them, and where they get in their own way, and also what, what strengths they have and how we can leverage that. And I do that work with individuals and teams before we start working on strategy, because if we don't, then all that other stuff just gets in the way and it becomes static. And so an example of this, um, what I call raising awareness or raising consciousness is, you know when we drive home from the grocery store or from church or work and we pull up in our driveway or in front of our house and we don't exactly remember getting there? That's called autopilot. And so many of us run our lives that way. And so try it sometime, tonight, tomorrow, to be really consciously aware of every turn and every car and every bicycle, A, the world will be safer, but B, you'll be very aware of things maybe you weren't aware of before, and you'll drive differently. And that's what I do with leaders. I help them become aware of those inside voices. So your inside voice when you're on autopilot is turn left, turn right, go straight. Our inside voices as leaders and as humans sometimes sounds like this, sounds like I can't raise that big issue because it will upset people and they'll be mad at me and I'll be voted off the island, which is the team. Or they'll say, um, I have to be the smartest one in the room because I've been told that I'm smart, so I have to have all the answers. And then the other one is, um, I have to control the outcome. I have to drive this because I've been told I'm a good fixer and I do things well, so that's my job is to, to go here and you all will follow. And what happens sometimes is they lose, leave bodies in the wake, right? People are not willing to get on board, they're not willing to play well together, and that just all becomes noise. And so what I do with individuals and teams is help them see what's going on with those voices, where they come from. I don't dive into the depths and help them solve it. I just help raise their awareness so they can have clarity, so they can make conscious choice and commit to that path forward. And what happens is they're more fun to work with. They actually start to like each other, may not be best buddies, but they appreciate each other and their organizations thrive as a result because it changes the tone. And so God brings me in and sometimes I don't know what to say or what to do. Um, and a lot of times I just get quiet and still. Um, as these guys can say when, I do get quiet and still. <laughs> um, but I, I ask God to tell me what he wants me to say in this moment for this person or what he wants for this team. And that's where I feel great privilege because um, it's not me, it's God moving through me. And uh, he just, tells me where to go. And so that's what I do to help create culture. 